Luz Donoso was a revolutionary Chilean artist whose work coincided with her political activism against the cruel dictatorship of Augusto Pinochet. She is most famously known for using her creations to evoke public awareness and resilience, especially after thousands of Chileans went quote-unquote missing during the 17 years Pinochet was in power in Chile. Before this, however, she was a well-renowned artist known for her mural work and printmaking. She studied at Escuela de Bellas Artes Universidad de Chile in 1963 and later received various honors and grants. In 1964, she collaborated on a large mural displaying her support of the future president Salvador Allende, which opened the door for her to study mural painting all over Europe. Before the coup that led to Pinochet's installation on September 11, 1973, she was a graphic arts professor at the Universidad de Chile starting in 1971. Due to her political stance, however, she was removed from her position. What was so controversial about her politics? For context, in 1973, the United States government and CIA helped conspirators violently install Augusto Pinochet in place of the first Marxist leader, Salvador Allende, due to the fear of communism spreading. Following this was the murdering and disappearance of around 3,000 of Allende's followers. The individuals who disappeared and became known as the Desaparecidos were kidnapped, most likely murdered, and buried by Pinochet's military in locations still unknown today. Luz Donoso used her work to question authority and the misdeeds of the Chilean government. Most of all, her art brought continued awareness to the desaparecidos. We can see this in her piece, Huincha Sin Fin, made in 1978, which included photographs of and newspaper clippings about missing Chileans posted next to the repeated words, where are they? She hung this piece like a scroll over various public staircases. It read, hasta que nos digan donde están. This work was a living, mobile archive that Donoso added to as more cases of missing people and their relatives' demands for justice surfaced, including her own, until we are told where they are. Another important public display of Donoso's was Grabados de Cuerpos Expuestos in 1976. She made various posters so they could be perceived in urban settings like Santiago. These monochromatic posters were unsettling, abstract bodies, symbolizing the secrets and silence of the Chilean government during this time of political unrest. Donoso was also a founding artist of Taller de Artes Visuales in Santiago, which unified other artists that lost their jobs due to their political stances. She designed their logo, which is still used today. Interestingly enough, Luz Donoso had only one private exhibition in a traditional white cube gallery in 1976, which makes her work as an artist so unique and signals the meaning of her untraditional style. She preferred her art to be amidst the public eye in order to ignite a passion for social justice. Donoso considered her practice, quote unquote, dentro y fuera de arte, which means within and outside art. She noted the theme of her pieces to be, quote unquote, denuncia y desacato, or denunciation and contempt. In this way, her work uniquely interacts with its audience through their perception, but advocates for future remediation through public resistance. Luz Donoso's work gives greater context to the emerging expression of political resistance, governmental critique, and social justice through creative forms that began to appear during this period. Her ability to create such impactful works disproves the idea of artists' inability to be revolutionaries, as we have heard in Che Guevara's Socialism and Man in Cuba. She was a powerful woman and critical Latin American artist who was able to mobilize the public through her countless pieces, which forever give testimony to the desaparecidos. Her work serves as a continued remembrance and persistent resilience of those who have faced and still face oppression within Chile. Okay.